Today I'm at Sequest and I know a back entrance. So we're gonna see if we can't pry our way in and uh, have a little bit of fun after hours. Ah, I think I got it, let's go. And we are in guys. Store behind us. Whoo! Dark in here. How oh, cool is it to be here at night it's all alone? I tell you what, kind of scary in a way, but it is absolutely amazing. We're gonna have a great time. I will say, I don't normally break in, but I couldn't resist. I literally need to find some lights because I can't even see in some of the tanks. So let's see if there's any light switches in here. We're in the bowels of the place now. Ooh, there's some light switches. All right, that worked. Now we can actually see what we got going on. These are giant sturgeon. He'll go into aquariums are amazing, but to go here with no one here, way better. How much trouble can you get him for doing this? I don't know. Okay, guys, so we have the place to ourselves now. We got lights on. First thing I've seen is this Asian water monitor. Look at this guy. I thought Elvis was big. This guy is absolutely amazing, and he looks like he wants to eat, and I want to feed as much as I can tonight. I guess we have to find some food for him, so let's go search for that. I see some freezers in the distance, and stingrays. You know I'm getting in this tank later on tonight. There's no doubt about that. Oh, guys. Couldn't ask for anything better. Let's take a look and see what's going on in these freezers here. Whoop! looks like, oh my God, there's all kinds of stuff in here. Kind of hungry, but... Oh, oh my God, it's shut. <laughs> oh, wait, I got it. Definitely sardines in here. You know what? It's kind of cool. There's like some chicks and some other stuff in here. Maybe it's not even really that frozen. Not too bad, actually. This might actually work. Let's go feed these off. I don't want to be in here too long because we have a lot to do. It's only a matter of time before someone probably finds us. Okay, buddy, where are you at? Let's see, how does this open up? Oh, he's gonna love it. Come on, bud. Oh, there you go, buddy. <laughs> this is awesome, man. There it goes. I'm missing Elvis now because this is freaking awesome. Oh yeah. It's kind of cool how the setup is here where it's so aquatic and he seems to be loving it. Come on, over here. Oh yeah. I need some tongs like this. I don't even know if this is what they're used for. It's working out good for us tonight. Come on, one more, one more. There you go, buddy. All right, let's go find what else we can do. I love this. Look at this giant paku, shovel nose, arowana, catfish in here. If I put my hand like this, they're definitely coming up for food. I think this is the food, but we gotta find some tokens. Let's go find tokens. It's gotta be tokens here somewhere. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I say there's tokens here. All right, I'm just gonna take a couple handfuls. I'm gonna need them. I got too many tokens. Okay, here we go. Oh my god, that is freaking awesome. I gotta get another token. I just love this. Let's hope I'm not in jail tomorrow. But it'll be worth it. Oh. Go in here. I'll take a look at this. This is awesome. We got a little sulcata tortoise down here. Oh, I miss my Speedy. Of course, Speedy's getting big in our backyard. There's no doubt about that. Oh, and look at these guys up here. Got some iguanas. Hi, buddy. These guys are so chill. It's like hanging out like nothing, you know? This is a cool enclosure, too. I mean, lots of waterfall for them. Yeah, oh, there's some turtles in here, too. Take a look at that. Man, this is, oh, I didn't even see this one. Hey, buddy. What are you doing? We got so much to explore tonight. to feed these fish. This is the first marine fish that we've seen. Take a look at this. I don't know what that is, but that's got piercing eyes. Come on, guys. Here comes our first one. He's looking. Get it. This might be a little anticlimactic. Oh, yeah. Now they got it. Well, what are you doing, little buddy? Here's some more arowana, which are super cool. These are some knife fish down here. Look at, look at the size of these pakus. Oh, look at this. These are actually spectacle came and love these guys. Cool little bangle cats. How cool is that? I think we can get to them this way. Please wait for a team member to enter. Let's go. Actually, you guys want to feed them? Why not, right? Oh, it smells good. Is that enough? Oh, yeah. I think they're ready. You get over there, you eat. What's cool about Bengal cats is they're actually a hybrid between an Asian leopard and a domesticated cat. Very cool, buddy. After four or five generations, they actually become more like domesticated cats, but they still have that really cool leopard type pattern. What's that saying? Like once you feed a cat, they're never gonna go away. Maybe now they'll love me. Let's go into the next enclosure. It's like that Alfred Hitchcock movie, The Curse. Let's see if they'll take it out. Whoa, it's one on my head. Is he eating? They're just kissing. What are you guys doing? I'm not necessarily really that comfortable around birds. Back when I was in Indonesia, I got bit on the lip by an eclectic parrot. And ever since, birds have kind of freaked me out. Come on, guys. They don't want to eat, and uh, I want to get the heck out of here. Obviously, I love Sequest, and I hope that they don't get too mad at me when they see this video. If you use the code REPTILEARMY when you go to their website, you can literally get into Sequest at no cost. That's right. If you're a family of five, it literally would be $100 to get there. So no cost to you with the code REPTILEARMY. Free 
shoot for the end of the year. Anybody that wants to come in, no break in necessary. I saw a capybara and a cavi in here, and I am going inside. Oh my gosh, these things are freaking cool. They're like the largest rodent in the whole world. And look at them climbing the stairs. Unbelievable. Swimmers too, so maybe we'll get lucky and you'll jump in the water. Some apples, apples. They love apples. Let me see if I can get them over here. Oh my God. I want these so bad. I've always loved capybaras. I think he likes me too. It's just a little bribery, you know what I mean? You just gotta give him a little bit. Uh-oh, apple fell in the water. These guys come from South America and they literally will swim in the Amazon. And they're amazing. I mean, think about it. The largest road in the world, but they actually can swim super well. Oh my gosh, I have fallen in love with this dude. Good thing I've got a bunch of these tokens here. I love it. Koi are so cool. Remember, we're planning a trip to Japan to go actually see some of the coolest koi farms. Look at these guys. Oh my gosh. What do you say, one more handful? I'm gonna actually go like this. Come on, buddies. Come on up. Oh my gosh, look at how tame they are. How freaking cool is that? Freaking epic, I'm having such a good time. Oh no, I am in love with river otter. We'll see if they'll come over. They got some food over here, so I'm not really sure what to do. Come here, buddy. Oh my gosh, look at this. Oh my gosh, is that the cutest thing? Oh, they're sticking their hands in there. They're like, yes. <laughs> I have to have river otters. These are, of course, Asian small cloud river otters, which are the ones that we want. But look at them. This might be the thing that I'm the happiest about tonight. This is so freaking cool. Super excited to be working with Factor. This is amazing. This is America's number one ready to eat meal kit. They're fresh, never frozen. They're chef prepared and dietitian approved. The thing I love about it is that they are nutritious and they're ready in two minutes. On those busy days where I get home and I just have to eat really quick, I've been using these guys for the last week, week and a half. I've already lost several pounds and I am committed to losing more. Today, we have Shrimp Alfredo. What do you say we cook this up? Gonna take us two minutes. Factor supports wholesome eating made simple. The menus are updated weekly to include 27 plus meals and 33 add-on options. Factor offers keto, calorie smart, chef's choice, and vegan and veggie options, which include seafood, meat, and plant-based meals. Meal plans range from 14 to 18 meals per week, and you can add on more or reduce the number depending on your specific needs. Plus, you can easily skip a week if you want. Factor takes the guesswork out of grocery shopping and meal prep, saving you time and energy for other things. Factor's no hassle preparation foods make sure you always have something nutrition and on hand and you don't have to take the time to think about making a meal. The other thing I've been loving when I'm just on the go is these tropical fruit smoothies by Factor. I mean, they're great. Just throw them in the refrigerator. They taste so good and they're just a quick way to get a little bit of energy and a little nutrition when you're on the go like I am. Now my favorite part. Mmm, that tastes good. Head to go.factor75.com slash BrianB130. Use the code BrianB130 and save $130 across six boxes. Guys, sharks up here. Oh my gosh. Looks like we have some nurse sharks and we have some black tip reef sharks. And look at how convenient. We actually have some food and some tongs. That is really convenient, isn't it? Okay, let's see if they'll take us. Come on, guys. These are definitely the sharks that I want to get, the black tip reef sharks. The ones that are like the miniature great whites, right? I know they have amazing sense of smell. Here you go. Come on, bud. They're getting closer. There it is, there it is, there it is. They are like little tiny jaws. I freaking love sharks so much. Oop, I just dropped it. The grouper oh. just got it. Damn grouper. Here we go, come on, Sharky. Damn grouper. Oh. Damn grouper. He swam right over it. This of course is a giant sonata. Look at this guy here. His name should be Tank. Hey buddy. Kinkajus are so cool. And at night they really come out. During the daytime they often are sleeping. So this is the perfect time to come in at night. Look at this little guy. Hey buddy, what's going on? I know you're like, I don't know. But I know that you guys like to bite and I don't want to be on the biting end. I don't know this kinkajou, so I'm going to be a little more cautious, but they are so soft. Absolutely incredible. So nocturnal. Look at those big eyes so that they can see great at night. He's very curious. He's like, what are you doing in my enclosure? We probably should get out of here. Got a, I don't know if this is a leopard gecko cage. Not sure. Oh no, it's a hog nose snake over way in the corner over here. I have a reticulated python I can see over here. This boa is absolutely amazing. Take a look at this. This is actually an aneuthristic for sure. It's a common Colombian boa, an imperator, but it doesn't look like he's got any red. I'd say it's definitely an aneury. I've got to figure out how to get back here because I want to check this boa out for sure. There's a door over here. Let's see if this one works. Animal whisperers only. I'm an animal whisperer. 
Oh my gosh, believe it, I couldn't figure out how to get out the big boa, but I came across some little baby boas. Apparently it looked like maybe they had some babies. This might actually be the female that had them. I'm not 100% sure, but of course this is a little baby now. You can see this has got some more red on it, so it's not an anry, but if that was an anry that was bred to anything else, it would be het for anry boa. So this is just a common Colombian boa. What an absolute find. There's a lot of cool stuff back there. I wish I could show you, but uh, some things have to be kept secret. This is cool, guys. Check this out. Oh my God, you guys know I love Brillo, the armadillo. This is actually the three-banded armadillo, right? So again, look at how the three-banded armadillo balls up into a ball like this. And of course, Brillo, the armadillo, the six-banded can't doll up like that, but it's really cool. I mean, this is a great defense mechanism for sure. It's got a really hard shell. Of course, it has a little bit of fur on the inside, but none of that fur on the outside like Brillo. Again, these are the Central American armadillo, where of course, Brillo is the South American armadillo. And then the nine bandits, of course, are here in North America. He's just chilling out. I don't think he's gonna go out. See you later, buddy. I always talk about that I wanna be a farmer farmer one day. And you gotta have chicken if you're gonna do farming. There's no doubt about that. But look at this. These are actually whoop, 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 whoop. these are actually silky chickens right here. And they're the cutest little chickens in the world. Look at all these guys. They're really, really soft. And I don't know, there's always been something that I've wanted. So one day I'll have a farm and I'll have a bunch of chickens. Maybe I'll have some silkies. Fantasy caves. What is in here? So we've got, let's see, a garp. Oh, so this must be like a conservation thing, right? Like this is what's happening to the oceans. Obviously all the plastic, absolutely disgusting. We're we have a greater siren here. I'm assuming what we have here is maybe some invasiveness. Not 100% sure what's going on with that. Oh, look at this. This is axolotls. We've talked about the fact that they're extinct from the wild, but being bred. And there's a, a couple GMO glow ones in here. Looks like we have a leucistic and a couple normals. And these are giant. There's no doubt about that. This is just like a little dark area. Pretty cool. And it's nice because it's got something about conservation. <laughs> Starting to get a little antsy, I'm not gonna lie to you here. I heard some people, I think, up front, but I don't know if they know I'm here. I don't even know if it's part of Sequest or something else. I remember yesterday when we were here, there's actually a sturgeon named Buddy, and I've got some fish here. And you just call him over, Buddy, Buddy, come on, come on, Buddy. There you go, Buddy. You just pat him. Oh my gosh. Now, sturgeon can get literally like nine foot. I'm gonna throw some fish in here. There you go, Buddy. Oh, how freaking cool is that? A nine foot fish that can get hundreds of pounds. I mean, it's absolutely incredible. Oh, did you see that? Dinosaur fish, it's absolutely amazing. Oh, looks like Buddy wants more. Here you go, Buddy. Gosh, I'm loving this. Let's get moving before something gets fishy in here. One of the cooler things when it comes to sharks is the shark egg. Take a look at this right here. You can literally see the baby shark inside the egg. <laughs> Freaking nuts. You can see the baby shark moving around. Oh my gosh. That is crazy. <laughs> you guys have no idea the joy I'm having right now. I, I, I'll be doing this every night at our place. I mean, oh, there they go. <laughs> they're going to town. Holy moly. Look at these things. Oh, they're savage. They are savages. Whoa. It's an interactive experience. I gotta commit breaking and entering more often. And that egg that we just seen is actually from these guys right here. That is a, look at this guy. It's a cowfish. Cowfish are so cool. Take a look at him. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. I absolutely love this. And I'm gonna feed all of this off. I mean, why not, right? I mean, look at all this. This is amazing. We've got sharks in here. We got rays in here. Oh my goodness gracious. This is a lot of, oh. Jeez. I hope this wasn't for something more important, but uh, we're just, we're gonna feed it all to this lagoon. This is amazing. Can you imagine just having this? You guys have no idea. Like when we open our aquarium, I'm gonna spend all my time in exhibits like this. I mean, I'm just gonna be chilling out all day long. I'm gonna just have to build a bedroom or something like that because I'm never going anywhere else. <laughs> Everybody get some fishies. I literally feel like a kid in a candy store, but the truth is I'm an adult that broke into an aquarium. Shh. That lady on that thing fought. When she came by, I wonder if she maybe just thinks I'm an employee. I'm not sure. This is a Keelbill toucan. How <laughs> cool is that? It actually catches blueberries. Oh, you gotta eat it now. There's some more cleaners. I'm just acting like I belong here. Hopefully they don't call anybody and let's get in trouble. Guys, all right, it's time. I've been waiting for this. We are going in with these. There's no way that I'm gonna leave here without going in with the stingrays. Let's find a wetsuit. There's gotta have a room around here with some wetsuits. Found a wetsuit. I got some goggles too. This is freaking awesome. <laughs> this is such a freaking blast. I tell you what, I'm gonna go ahead and feed these guys. 
<laughs> this is like a dream. Come on, buddy. <laughs> I'm actually loving this to be honest with you, dude. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? It <laughs> sounds like a different organ. You can't eat that. Hey, what are you doing in there? Oh no, I'm in trouble. I gotta get out of here. Let's get out of here before we get out. But I'm taking the shark. They're kicking me out. Speaking of out, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, there's a playlist that you can watch all kinds of videos. You can also hit that subscription button. It would mean a lot to me. Also, hit that like button while you're down there. Have a wonderful day, Reptile Army. Remember. <laughs>